man, that's when I enter my comfort zone, Dave. It's mm -hmm. like the second the season starts, I'm just in a completely different mood for the rest of the year. I mean, it is my my happy place, my happy time. And you just mentioned it before we, we started. Um, another benefit of this is the Bears have four preseason games this year now because we get to play this Hall of Fame game. So, uh, yeah, well, well, what do you think about that? Bear down. I think, it's, I think it's huge. I think uh, the fact that um, on a roster that's young, and I think it's like one of the most advantageous things that we have going on for this season is that, it's a season that's a weird in between for me. And I've put a lot of thought into it lately in terms of just like the hype and everything. Um, I think me and you are kind of in the same boat on what the expectation is for the season. It's like nine wins would be great. Maybe like a playoff attempt push, maybe like a early, you know, I don't, I don't expect Super Bowl yet. It's nice, but like prove it first, you know, if you're a 10, 11, 12 win team, that's when you expect a Super Bowl run the following year. But um, I think in a year where, we would like to be a year ahead rather than a year behind of expectations. I think uh, a fourth preseason game is going to be really, really big for not just Caleb Williams because you don't really expect him to play, but like the the ancillary pieces and the players that maybe aren't necessarily um, the guys you'd expect to want to see on game days like that. But those guys are really, really important. We see them, you know, we see them pretty often and pretty early. It also, just seeing. The players out there in the pads like i want to see what caleb williams looks like in pads i think a lot of it is two parts of it uh two points that you know we've been you've been mentioning a lot is that that zero and four start i think that's like one of your big go-to's in terms of last year is like really what screwed this team over was that zero and four start it was really it was some bad bad team stuff but mostly it was bad luck i would say the fact that you were and four two of those games are super easily winnable um a couple games were, you know, just out of your control, like uh, Kansas City, like you were going to get your your teeth knocked in on that one. But uh, having an early start in the season is super, super vital this year for sure. Um, and that's why I like this schedule so much. It's like so cupcake to begin with. And then, you know, hopefully in the second part of that is we see it with a lot of NFL teams nowadays that first uh, that first like quarter to half of the season it's really just kind of getting your feet wet and hoping that not too many of your teammates get injured. So I think, I think just having that fourth preseason game kind of knock and rust off earlier, earlier than other teams, I think that's beneficial. And I think it says a lot that they picked the Texans and the bears, you know, for that hall of fame game, these two young up and coming teams that people would probably want to see. And even though it's a hall of fame game and it's preseason, like you better believe it'll, it'll do numbers. A lot of people are going to watch that thing. So, I mean, obviously, I think everybody's the most excited to see Caleb in the preseason. But other than Caleb, who are you excited to see go out there and, and play? Man, uh, I think for – obviously, I, I want to see, like, Keenan Allen, DJ Moore, but I feel like those are a little bit more known commodities. Like, I know what to expect out of those guys. So, for me, this season uh, and off season towards uh, end of last year – I've been a big Jervon Dexter guy, and now it's a little bit in vogue. It's very trendy, and everybody's kind of seeing this weight loss stuff and him working out and everything. But I just saw it towards the end of last year, and I'm doing my full season rewatch, like I've been talking to you about in private, and we'll we'll talk about that because it's nice to just kind of see the – going back a year, it's nice to see the, the tone of the season kind of evolve as you go because once you take a step back, it's almost a little bit more obvious and how it was Definitely full. different when you look back at it for sure when you look back at it and especially in in chunks or like you can kind of you know if you can watch a game in 55 minutes like we do with our our condensed yeah exactly squeegee squeegee knows exactly where i'm going with this is d line i really want to see dexter i really want to see if against other pros that burst is really visible and obvious from dexter which it has been talked about for training camp right now um i want to see that burst i want to see jacob martin uh, I've heard I've heard his name a lot in training camp for defensive end. I really want to see uh, Austin Booker. So D line mostly, I would say is my number one. Specifically, one player I want to see Javon Dexter. That's who I want to see early and often, and see if like, we can get.